Mike, Jalen Ojavino plays a team high in minutes tonight, and um, he's plus 28, and it felt like he was really kind of – basically kind of both sides of that starter bench unit. Just how much of a challenge is it for him – to be, you know, a guy that can handle the ball for the starters and a guy that can handle the ball for the bench, and how much do you feel like you can put on his shoulders in that regard? Well, again, a lot of that was because X got in foul trouble. You know, I mean, in the St. Francis and Marion game, X was carrying the blunt of the second unit. And, you know, I kind of want X in with the second unit uh, because he's, you know, he's been around a lot longer than Fino, and I, I think he can run our ball club. So. Uh, but the fact that he got in foul trouble early, you know, it it um, gave Fino a chance to play more minutes with the second unit, which, you know, he can play with any unit. Both of them can. So I, I have no problems there. You know, I mean, I feel comfortable now because through the four and a half, five month stretch, we've given Caleb, uh, not Caleb, but uh, Tamar Bates and Gallo an opportunity to handle the ball a lot. So you can even play them two together. So, I mean, I feel good about, you know, our, our perimeter play and, and who plays what any position, really. Mike, you guys only put up 11 threes tonight, but you shot 61% from the field. You guys have been blistering from the field. Are you okay with that number? Or is there a certain number you want to put up as long as it's efficient and they're playing within the framework? Because nothing was forced. Well, to make no mistake about it, our strengths, you know, when you, you know, and this is no knock against, we were a bigger team, you know, and our strengths is playing inside out. I mean, it's no secret. You know, I'm not trying to hide that. Uh, and they doubled some, and we were able to get the ball uh, out to some of, the, some of our guys to make shots. And Miller made a couple in transition, which, you know, we we're capable of doing that as well. So, I mean, you know, listen, I thought it was a solid game. You put up 88 points. I just don't like the fact that we're, we're missing free throws. That's, that's really bothering me as a coach. Over here, Mike. Um, in the first half, they made some threes. In the second half, you uh, took that away from them, plus you forced 21 turnovers. I wonder what your evaluation was of, of how you guys defended. Well, you hold them to 24 points the second half. I, I say defensively, we did a, a solid job. I thought our switching, uh, we got burned a couple times, but for the most part, you know, I thought our switching was on par. Um, and we rebounded the ball a little bit better. We got to get better in that area too, man, because, you know, uh, this was a close close game. You know, they, I don't know what the rebounding was, it was, but it was fairly close. I know they were up, I think, one at halftime. So, um, we got to get better, you know, come up with – I got to get our guards helping our bigs rebound some. Malik Renault with uh, 15 points in 17 minutes. Curious your evaluation of him in his college debut. You no, know, he's, he's been solid ever since he put on the uniform. So it's kind of nice, kind of nice to see, man. I told you the freshmen, they – you know, him and uh, – Jalen, you know, they don't play like freshmen. You know, they, they they act like they belong. I thought Caleb came in who hadn't played really much, came in and, you know, was solid too when he got in the game. And CJ's been solid through the Marion and St. Francis run. So, um, you know, I got a lot of pieces. You know, I just got to figure it out as we go along from a coaching standpoint uh, based on who's playing and how they're playing. Coach, Race talked about how it really took these guys a little bit of time to settle into the game tonight. Did you really see a moment where it clicked for them, or was it kind of just a thing where it was just, you know, as time went on, these guys just needed to gel a little bit together on well, the court? Well, starting the second half, I thought, again, I mean, you know, this was, this was the first game for these guys. And, um, you know, I don't know if they were jittery or not, you know, but I thought we came out with a great start, you know, but you got to give Moorhead State some credit. You know, they didn't, they didn't lay down. They, they, they fought early and, uh, but I thought the second half we turned it up from a defensive standpoint and did what we had to do to, to secure the win. Mike Miller, uh, cop hit a couple threes tonight. How much 
dramatically better does he make your team when he's hitting threes for you guys? Well, everybody. I mean, when you got good looks, you know, I expect you to make them. I mean, he made two big ones that kind of, you know, expanded our lead. But, you know, I think all the guys that, that are shooting the three ball on our team can make it. You know, that's just how I feel. You know, after watching them the, the last four and a half, five months. So, um, we just, you know, when we got them, we just got to knock them down. That's kind of how I look at it. Mike, can you think, talk a little bit about how much more depth you might have this year with the addition of those freshmen and all the guys who came back who got the experience under you last year? Well, it seemed we, like you are. You know, the guys, when they first came out, they said they felt like they had 10, 11 starters. Well, we, we are deeper this season than we were last year season again everybody was new last year everybody was searching i was new um you know this, those guys last season were trying to figure me out and you know the guys that came back you know kind of know who i am now and now it's just getting the four freshmen up to speed and but again you know i like everything about our freshmen man because they're competitive they compete they like to compete and we're longer um more athletic than we were last season. So, I mean, that helps in the college game, I think. Coach, I wanted to ask specifically, there was a lineup a couple of times in the first half of Trey, Malik, Tamar, Jalen, and Jordan um, that, that had, I guess, a few runs, uh, a few good runs together. I guess what, what specifically do you like about that lineup and, and what they can do? Well, we're big. I mean, you, you think about the three that you mentioned up front. That's a big lineup. Um, but again, you know, I haven't had a chance to really play, you know, Malik and, and Trace together a lot. And let alone Geronimo along with those three. But hey, I'm, you know, as a coach, I'm still learning. And, you know, you love to see a lot of different lineups based on the talent that we have. So. All I'm telling our guys is just be ready to play, you know, because if if I see you're not giving it to us, then I got to go somewhere else and get it. You know, that's just how I look at it from a coaching standpoint.